Hey, what's up guys? Royalty here. And uh, like I said, I got that part two for you guys. So, you know, let's just get right into it. Oh, one quick thing before I start this part two. I hope that I, like, backtracked a little bit on the last video. Or at least got a little bit of the footage from the last one. That way, you know, it kind of lines up with the rest of it. Anyway, the, for this video, I'm going to talk about goals, pretty much. So, well, pretty much the reason why I made this channel is for fun pretty much and also a way to connect with others in the community of gaming or call of duty in general because that's why i mostly play or at least that's why i mostly upload i would like to play other games you know so it doesn't look like i just like i'm that sway kid that just plays call of duty all day when i get my computer then I'll probably upload like CSGO and uh, more Gmod videos because like I wanted to but uh, you know stuff didn't really work out like I planned and after uh, after camp I'll probably have a lot of extra spending money so I can buy like a camera do a face reveal do some vlogging probably buy like Astros or a scuff I'll probably buy a scuff first well, actually, I can't say that. I'm going to buy a computer first, and then a scuff, and then I'll be. Then hopefully, I should do like a nice setup video, and uh, yeah, then you guys will actually like just know what I'm about, and uh, hopefully by the end of 2016, I can have like what maybe 800 subs. Now, like I know that seems like a really high ass goal right now. But, I mean, hey, over time, like, that that really could happen. Or I might be doing better than that. Instagram, I, I don't even know, because I don't even have a phone to post anything on Instagram. I just use my computer now just to look at my notifications and talk to some teams and stuff. So, that's out of the question. Twitter, I'm probably going to get, like, a few more followers. Hopefully, I can get to, like probably like a thousand or something by the end of this year oh yeah and the really big thing get on a team for fucking once okay now i'm uh kind of tell you guys what happened about mint okay so i wanted to join mint and uh you know i tried it out i guess this was when cap shot was still in the thing was still on the team so pretty much you know they uh he got me on the team we played uh, a bunch of arena games, you know, it was fun, got to know a little bit about everyone. And uh, then I had to go to school, and you know, I'm not active during the week. So I think later, like, I think two or three days later, like, I can't access Twitter because, you know, the school blocks it. But on uh, in my email, I saw that uh, it said uh, you got a DM, you know, from Mint Dash, and Mint Dash is the leader. And it said, you have been removed from the team. I'm sorry. Alright, so, like, at that point, I was, like, about to, like, go to my Xbox, throw it out the window, go to, like, the closest item around me, which was the computer, and throw that shit out the window. And then just start fucking flipping people off as I walk down the street. Like, I mean, I was really fucking pissed. Like, I, I didn't even sleep well that night. I was I was so pissed. But, uh, then I started talking to Capshot and Mercs, and, uh, they told me that they're looking for someone that's active every day. So, you know, like, that was, that was fine with me, you know, it's cool, you know. Obviously, they want someone active for the competitive team, because they do tournaments. So, you know, that was understandable. So, uh, about a week later, uh, they got Mint. The Mint team, or Mint clan, whatever the fuck you want to call it. They got into this ESG tournament. So it's pretty much like a tournament for Twitter I only, I think. I'm not sure. And, uh, you know, over the days, I was just looking at what ESG posted and what other people posted. And uh, I looked I looked at um, Mint. I think it was Mint versus Flame or something or Fear. No, not the professional Fear, but like a, probably a different one. And uh, they got smacked. Like, I mean, I was looking at the leaderboard, and I saw Mint Advantage. He didn't do too good. It was Infected Search for Infected Uplink. Mint Dash was at the bottom, which was pretty sad, because that's the leader, and he was down there. And uh, the other two didn't even have, like, you know, the name Mint, but, you know, they were playing. But they didn't do too well. 
So, I mean, they obviously have, like, some things that they need to work out themselves. Okay, so I think, like, another, we're going, uh, like, coming towards the future now, um, like, last weekend or this weekend, they were telling me that, uh, Merck Snort Capture is no longer on the team. Now, at this point, I'm like, I know this team's about to just start dropping people left and right. And, uh, then later, like, I think five minutes later, uh, Mint Dash joined. So, you know, like, at this point, like, I was about to be like, oh, dude, what's up, Mint Dash, dude, how are you doing? You know, like, he was, like, Optic Scumpy or something. And, like, he didn't sound anything like I thought, which is okay, because no one ever does, or they don't look like how you think. Anyway, I'm getting off subject. Okay, so we played a 2v2, because, uh, I think Mint Dash was, um, he was on probation, so we couldn't play Arena. So, you know, we're playing, and, like, I don't know why, but he pulled out a freaking. It, it hurts me to say this. He pulled out a Razorback with a suppressor and rapid fire now don't don't get me wrong the 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 razorback you know it's it's a good gun but with a suppressor come on now so you know we're playing and like like i don't we can't hear him because you know we're in a different party but you know uh he's like at the bottom of the leaderboard like i think 12 and 32 or something it was just really embarrassing and then he was like oh dude can we play another i want to get better at esports and okay, now that was the point right there where I said, pause, the leader of the fucking team does not know how to play esports, or at least he's no damn good at it. No offense to the Mint Clan, but you guys need to have like a revolution or something. The leader should be one of the best or the best one on the team. No random, you know, I'm calling myself random right now, no random should be able to beat him. That's all I gotta say.